Hello everybody and welcome to some more fighter subscriber where my subscribers have sent me a bunch of their own fighters uh, We've put them through a preliminary round and now the best 12 will make their way one by one through a gauntlet of my own fighters Which you can see here. So uh, let's go and meet today's competitor This is the AC Shinden F00 by Maximus Light uh, Who's made something of a name for himself in these YouTube dogfight competitions So uh, this must surely be a strong contender for a place in this season's final it's a good looking craft with a reasonably conventional four plane and tail plane configuration, although there are some uh, little innovations in there as you'd expect. Um, it's powered by three Saturn engines, it's armed with two Vulcan cannons, uh, four AM rounds, and eight Sidewinders. The Sidewinders proving very effective this season as they are um, perhaps a little overpowered in the version of BD Armory that we're currently using. Taking this up for a test flight was interesting, it's not a heavy craft at all, and those three Saturn engines do give it a ridiculous kick of power. Uh, it's also very manoeuvrable, although I did notice there was a bit of a wobble coming out of some manoeuvres, although um, all in all I still have to chalk this up as a very strong contender. Um, although this is all just hypothetical at this point, so uh, let's get down to business. So the first challenge for the Shinden to overcome will, uh, as usual, be a fight against my club tails. Let's get this one started. And the first fight begins. The Shindens taking a high altitude approach there. That extra thrust means they can get quite high before the um, before the two sets of craft have managed to get to range. Uh, it seems to be all the Shindens at the moment with the uh, with the missiles, obviously turning a lot quicker. Uh, the club tails don't seem to have gotten any missiles away whatsoever. Jebediah Kerman just closing the distance, lining up some more missiles, launches the last of his Amrams, and now the craft is down to sidewinders, but that will suit them perfectly as they uh, close the distance, getting more towards that perfect range for the sidewinder, about four kilometers or so. Everybody's still dodging. It looks like the club tails have managed to. Um, Launch some missiles. That looks like damage on one of the club tails. Rowena Kerman. Out already. An early missile killed for the Shindens. And yes, it's uh, it's going to be difficult for the club tails now. Although it does look like uh, at least one of them is still distracted with Rowena Kerman. So uh, sorry, you're going to have to take one for the team. The game pauses. One of the Shindens has gone. A cloud of debris and it just disappears completely from the vessel switcher. It's now two apiece. Jebediah Kerman just dodging a missile there. Which he does so ably. Still Amram's coming in from the club tails. There won't be quite so difficult to dodge, especially at this range. Jebediah swings about. If he can get a sidewinder off at this range, that looks like an explosion. I think that was... Um, yeah, that was Arena Kerman's club tail, I believe, crashing into the ground. Jebediah Kerman! Bringing guns to bear on one of the club tails. Has to break off though. A missile incoming. That sounded like another explosion. That was another explosion. That was one of the club tails and the Shinden I was just looking at. Ah, I thought the missile had just come in and damaged one of the Shindens, but it doesn't appear so. Oh! I just switch over in time. It's one against one. Although there is a heavily damaged club tail. Nope, that's crashed to the ground. Valentina Kerman. Launches a couple of sidewinders. That's the perfect range for them. And Daphne Kerman will just have to glide down to the ground and hope she survives. <sighs> what at this speed is probably going to be a pretty hard landing. So the deaths came thick and fast there, but uh, ultimately the uh, the Shindens do fall at the first hurdle. Not without getting a couple of kills onto the board though. So let's go and see how they fare in their second fight. So the Shindens doing well, but sadly not quite well enough in that last fight, although they have a chance to bounce back straight away with this fight against my Panthers. Let's get them into the air.
the second fight starts, and um, if the uh, the club tails had difficulty turning around fast enough to get their missiles away, the Panthers definitely will. Although it seems they do have at least one coming in. One of the uh, one of the Shindons breaks low. The uh, the club tails, the more manoeuvrable of the uh, the two craft between um, them and the Panthers. But uh, yeah, as I said, it doesn't seem to have uh, affected one of them too much. Although the other two, as per last time. Just continuing to close the distance, and will shortly, almost certainly, release their uh, their second volley of missiles, leaving them with just the uh, just the sidewinders, and that's where things get interesting. Jebediah, the last of his Amrams away. It looks like the Panthers are now managing to get some missiles of their own. Uh, in reply, hmm, I think yeah, I think oh, something's happened. One of the Panthers gone. It looks like it crashed into the ground. Once again, it is advantage to the Shindons. Jebediah Kerman with a sidewinder launches another one. Still a bit of a range. It is it is possible to dodge them at that distance, but oh my word! It's now three against one. Shawnee Kerman. I was just—I was just um, about to say. I think the Shindons were a little unlucky in that last fight about how it uh, how it played out, how they found themselves positioned with uh, respect to their their opponent craft. But um, yeah, it appears it appears they are making uh, losing no time in uh, making amends for that. Gunfire comes in. Shawnee Kerman just avoids a hit to the tip of his wing. The attention of three Shindons, though, and that is not going to end well. Shawnee Kerman hasn't loosed that many missiles, will still be quite a heavy craft, quite difficult to manoeuvre. And a couple of sidewinders are all it takes to uh, to finish him off. So let's go and move on to the final fight. Well, I said they could bounce back and bounce back they did. Now all that stands between them and a provisional place in this season's final is the latest of my own craft. The Red Hawk. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. Nearly at that magical eight kilometer mark, and I am looking forward to this one. There we go. Both of these craft highly manoeuvrable. Both of these craft powered with the uh, with the Saturn engines. Jebediah Kerman having to break low because of uh, incoming missiles from the Red Hawks, uh, and it looks like they all managed to get their missiles away. Anybody, um, yeah, all of the Shindons having to uh, having to break and dodge. The uh, the Amrams not as effective in this version of BD Armory as the Sidewinders, although they uh, they have caused the odd bit of trouble for uh, for some of the craft. More missiles flying back and forth. This is where the uh, the Shindons may have an advantage, though, as they just close this distance here. Switch to Sidewinders. This um, the uh, the Red Hawk still armed with uh... oh my word that's one of the Red Hawks gone that is one of the Red Hawks very very gone yeah these Sidewinders are more appropriate at this range but I think the Red Hawks are armed with um, with quite a few Amrams I think they'll still be using those that's another one of the Red Hawks gone. We're down to just Rowena Kerman's craft, and that one is shredded. That higher sidewinder count on the uh, on the Shindons really making its mark, and that was a ridiculously short fight. But uh, the uh, the Shindons are victorious in two of their three fights, so let's go and uh, let's go and see what that means for the scores. After a disappointing start, then the AC Shindon F00 does finally produce the goods. And uh, <laughs> normally I consider the Red Hawk the strongest of my three craft there, but they were just taken apart. That was absolutely brutal. Um, On to the matter of the scores, and uh, if we bring up the leaderboard. We can see that with eight kills and six survivors, 
the Shinden sits on 14 points in fourth position just behind the F-54 stubby by virtue of the fact that the F-54 won all three of its rounds and that is now a very difficult top four to break into although we uh, we do still have some very strong contenders left in the competition. My huge thanks to Maximus Light for this craft. I was a bit worried uh, when it started wobbling earlier in testing but uh, Turns out I should have been more worried for my own craft. Um, if you'd like me to fight any of your craft, then uh, submissions for Season 3 are now closed, unfortunately, but I am still doing my regular mailbag stream, so uh, feel free to send me anything and I'll try to feature those. The uh, address will be down in the description. If you've enjoyed today's video and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, all that kind of stuff. All the details down below. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but for now, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.